So, this is Reverend Joseph San Jose, and for our New Year's message, um, I didn't want this to be overly theological. So, gusto ko sana medyo chill-chill lang, no? pero meron pa rin lalim, no? meron pa rin uh, mapupulot na aral kahit pa pa. Um, so, kasama ko ngayon sa New Year's message na ito ang aking partner, si Lawrence, partner ko of seven years, turning eight ngayong darating na April 2023. So, these are um, 12 suggestions no, on how to be joyful and spiritual for 2023. So, umpisa na natin. So, number one is, una dyan yung be grateful. Una natin yan. Gratitude. Be grateful. No, magandang inuumpisahan ang taon, ang bagong taon, ng may pagpapasalamat. Hindi ko maalala sa inyong celebrity to, no Many years ago, even more than a decade ago, no, I, I heard or watched someone, a celebrity, saying na ang practice niya daw pag nag-uumpisa ang taon ay ipinagpapasalamat na niya uh, kay God ang mga bagay na gusto niyang ma-achieve, ma- makuha, um, or hinihiling for 2023. And this doesn't necessarily mean material. No? Pwede, simple as good health, no? kompleto yung pamilya, ganyan. So, pinagpapasalamat niya na yon at the beginning of the year, kahit na hindi natin alam kung matutubad ba yung, yung gusto natin, gusto niya. Nonetheless, pinagpapasalamat niya na. So, I, I think that's a good practice. Not only at the beginning of the year, but all throughout every single day of 2020, 2023. Yung sense of being grateful, gratitude for the people that you have, the things that you have, and even the lessons you learn from from certain struggles in life. So, magpasalamat tayo the beginning of the year and throughout 2023. Number two, uh, check yourself and others. Regularly, uh, check yourself. Kamusta ka physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, socially, and even financially. Check your well-being, relate to that, of course, taking care of yourself. Pag may area ng life mo at relationship mo uh, that needs your care and attention. At dahil hindi tayo nabubuhay na mag-isa o para sa sarili lamang, from time to time, check your loved ones and your friends. Kamusayin sila, and when needed, show that you care. Number three for 2023, no? Maghilom, heal intentionally. If you haven't yet, start your inter- intentional process of healing. Or if you already be- began, uh, kung nag-start ka na ng process na to a year ago or many years ago, continue. Continue the process of, of healing. And how do you do this? Number one, um, acknowledge your past. No? All the good and the bad that has happened to you face each one of them, learn from them, and secondly, start or continue the process of letting go. Ang, ang healing din, ang healing o pag means letting go. No? Um, letting go of many things in your past, including people and even relationships who have been hurtful or abusive to you. Forgive them, but you do not need to necessarily stay with them. Ang pagpapatawad ay hindi naman nangangahulugang pinananatili natin yung connection natin sa mga taong nakapanakit sa atin ng sobra uh, o nakapang-abuso sa atin ng sobra-sobra. Of, of, although, siyempre, hindi naman lahat ng, ng masakit ay eh, necessary i-let go mo kagad. Pero kayo makakapagsabi if there have been very serious and difficult things na ginawa sa inyo that requires letting go. Letting go of some people. Um, And of course, ano, uh, ano to? Healing also means forgiving yourself. Hindi lang sa pagpapatawad ng iba, pagpapatawad din siya sa sarili niyo. No? Forgive yourself for some of the shitty shit things that you've done in the past. No one's perfect. I-let go niyo 'yon, patawarin niyo ang sarili niyo at uh, yeah, patawarin niyo sarili niyo. And lastly, uh, untag dito Seek help, seek support and care from friends and family, and even if there's a way, marami din namang mga 
communities or support groups, uh, you can seek professional help from from counselors. Number four, ako pa pala to, uh, uh, personal accountability. Saying sorry, apologizing. It is not always about other people being bad or hurting you. Uh, napakadaming mga memes sa social media na, nags- na nagsasabi about how other people are toxic, cut them off, remove them from your life. At sinabi ko na nga yun, uh, a while ago. Um, but binabalanse natin yan to say na it's not always other people. It's also us. It's also me. It's also you who sometimes are toxic. Sometimes ikaw din yung may nagagawa o nasasabing masakit. So, we, for 2023, hold yourself accountable. Personal accountability. Saying sorry, apologizing. Saying sorry is, is a sign of maturity, of growth, and certainly of spirituality. No? It, and apologizing does not mean that you are less of a person. It only means that you are human and that you have matured enough to be able to admit your mistakes. So number five, number five, um, simplicity and contentment. Actually, siyang nakaisip nito. Keep it simple. You don't need too much uh, to be happy. So wag maghangad ng sobra sobra at bumili ng mga bagay na hindi kailangan para magpaandar at magpasosyal. Uh, Iwasan bumili ng mga bagay na hindi naman kailangan at itatambak mo lamang sa bahay. Joyful uh, living means finding happiness in the simple things in life and that truly matters. Number six, consistency and never giving up. Pinag, you know, bilang pastor ng simbahan, nag-organize ng community, ng, ng you know, humaharap sa mga volunteers, naghahanap ng mga volunteers. Another word for commitment is consistency. And and late this past few days I've been thinking about it. Parang mas the better word, a better word for commitment is actually consistency. Consistency is what commitment is all about. You know? So for 2023, be consistent and never give up. Keep showing up. Continue improving, growing, and healing even if small or baby steps lang. Ang importante, tuloy-tuloy, dire-diretsyo. Um, but of course, in times of difficulties and stress, uh, learn to step back, to rest, to pause, huminga. No? Cry if you need to. No? Huminga at magpahinga, pero... Wag susuko, hindi susuko. Number seven. Number seven. Uh, learn and practice to enjoy alone time from time to time. So we all need our me time. Kahit may jowa. Kahit may jowa. Hindi laging kailangan may kasama para maging masaya. So there is um, power, I would say, or uh, confidence. How would you put it? To there is. Um, Comfort, I would say. I think that's the be- best word. That you can dine alone, you can eat alone, watch a movie alone, and you know, just be alone with your thoughts because that's the time that you can process things on your own. So once you're able to practice having that sense of aloneness, but still you're happy, is a good thing. Yeah, and... If you cannot be happy alone, certainly you cannot be happy with someone. So learn and practice being happy alone. alone. At kahit na at sa sa amin, it works for us and it helps our relationship when there are moments na may time siya nang siya lang, may time ako nang akin lang. You know, and then it 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 is beneficial and enriches us individually and then our relationship when we have that alone. Uh, last, uh, last two ba to? Ay, hindi. Number eight. Number eight. Uh, rest from social media. Magpahinga o umiwas 
sa social media. You know, um, meron, marami ng studies, you can search this in Google, may mga studies from the biggest universities, may the medical field, psychology, na binabago niya, neuroscience, binabago ng, ng too much social media in a negative way ang ating, uh, even the physical features of our brain, the synaptics of our brains. At, at dito, sabi ko nga sa church uh, a few times na, na I think nagkukosya ng ADHD. May, may social media induced ADHD. Yung uh, nawawalan tayo ng focus o umiikli yung ating attention span uh, because of social media. Again, wala pa akong mababack up doon but I'm guessing may study niya. And there are, again, there are other studies have already been made negative ang masyadong social media because of the frequency of the stimuli, the stimulation. Mm-hmm. Kaya natitrain yung brain natin na ano to, maikli lang yung attention niya because of the frequent stimuli. So, to be spiritual, to be joyful, ligwakin nyo pa minsan-minsan ng social media. So, do other things. Stimulate yourself through other means other than social media for 2023. Uh, number nine, silence and listening. So, merong karunungan. There is wisdom and truth among the ancients uh, across different spiritual traditions. Hindi lang Christian, no? Hindi lang Christian. Buddhist, Zen. In almost all spiritual traditions, there is an importance and value for silence katahimikan at pananahimi which leads us to also a better practice of listening pakikinig and siguro konektado na doon yung paying attention or focus kasi makikinig ka lang naman sa bagay na kaya mong o makakapakinig ka kung nakakapag-pay attention ka nakakapag-focus ka so let us practice silence and listening pananahimi pananahimik na hindi rin nakikailam sa buhay ng iba. Huwag <laughs> tayo masyadong concern sa buhay ng iba. Number 10. Uh, number 10, reconnect uh, to God. Reconnect to God, have a moment to talk to God. Um, and like listen me, to God. Yes, listen to God. So like me, ginagawa ko siya habang uh, papasok on my way to work uh, because uh, that's a time na tahimik at walang maingay for my for uh, my alone time uh, kasi yun yung time na ako lang mag-isa at tahimik uh, give thanks for all the blessings that's when i pray give all uh, you know uh, give thanks and also pray for those who are in need and um, make sure na just have a a moment and talk and you know say all the things that you would like to say to god number 11 11 um Siguro mas bagay ang number 11 sa being generous. Yeah, being generous on two ways. Volunteer and give. Mm-hmm. Give your time, give your financial resources, give your skills by volunteering. And again, giving uh, your resources. And when I say that, I say that in a way na be generous do something, give something that is beyond your own comfort, beyond what benefits you, what satisfies you, even what benefits or satisfies or gives comfort to your immediate family and friends. Give and volunteer to something that is greater and bigger than your uh, personal circle and your personal life. Connectado yun sabi ni Lars, reconnect to God. Connecting to God is not only personal. Mm-hmm. There is always a social and relational dimension to, to connecting to God. Uh, and sabi niya kanina, no, praying for those in need. Yes, we need to pray for the poor, the oppressed, the struggling. Pero hindi pwedeng puro-puro Pray prayers down. lang. Mm-hmm. No? You have to also... Our prayers for the poor and the needy must translate to actual uh, help and support 
for those who are struggling, those who are having it difficult in their life, in their communities. So, so volunteer, be generous by volunteering and giving to something that is bigger and beyond yourself. No, maraming mga iba't ibang organizations ang meron tayo, especially LGBT organizations. Tinta ni magvolunteer din tayo na magbigay. And lastly, stay in touch. Spirituality sa MCC, we define spirituality sa MCC simply as uh, connection. My Reverend Mona West, one of our bishops, says that spirituality is being profoundly connected to yourself, connected to other people around you, being connected to the environment, nature, and of course, being connected to God. So stay in touch. Do stay in touch with 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 the people that you love, those who support you, those who care for you. Stay in touch with um, with friends. Stay in touch with. Um, siguro yung alone time yung stay in touch with yourself and and make new connections, make new friends, new relationships. Build your network of friends and connections. Uh, Parti na din yung sa advocacy, sa mga organizations, if you're part of an organization. So, stay in touch, stay connected. So, ito yung ating ano, 12 suggestions for a spiritual and joyful life for 2023. Siyempre, there are more. Hindi lang naman ito yung pwede nyo gawin. Uh, at suggestion lang namin to. You might have others, other things that works for you. Um... Uh, so, number one, be grateful. Number two, check yourself and others. Number three, uh, mag-heal or mag -hilo. And number four, personal accountability or saying sorry. Number five, simplicity and contentment. Number six, consistency and never giving up. Number seven, learn and practice to enjoy alone time or have me time. Me time, number seven. Number eight, rest. No, Umalis. Iguakin ang social media from time to time. Number nine. Uh, silence and listen. Number ten. Uh, reconnect to God. And number eleven, volunteer. Be generous. Give. And lastly, be connected. Stay in touch. So this is Reverend Joseph San Jose and Lawrence. And we wish you abundance, joy, and everything to be thankful for this coming 2023. May the God who is love itself be with you and bless you and your loved ones. Shanawa. Amen. Shanawa. Amen.